Well, good morning. I'm at work before we've opened, and uh, I just briefly want to uh, have a pipe with you. Mm. Sort of a different look for me today, I know. And the only things I brought with me to smoke are old pipes. I've got this old Orlick. And somewhere in my pocket, a kitten. No, nothing of the sort. One wishes. No, it's an old gray bow from the 70s, a, a Starfire Tomahawk. I don't want to put it in this war like. What am I about to smoke? I just opened this tin. So, number one from. McClellan's, good old McClellan's. Boy, I miss them, don't you? It's got that marvelous vinegary smell. Almost like HP sauce, which is so good on a sausage roll or a bridey. And uh, we'll just put a bit in the pipe. I opened it earlier because I wanted Mrs. Tiger to smell it. She being the pipe smoker as well. She said that she thought it was just the sort of thing I would enjoy. Very diplomatic of her. She's right, of course. She is having a bit of difficulty with her heart. Just the blood pump part of it. And uh, a little AFib. Fibbing's always bad. AFibbing is some of the worst. So we'll be doing. Uh, series of appointments with the cardiologist and some tests and the like. She's always had that leaky mitral valve since she was a little girl. And heretofore it's been no trouble. Nice and loaded up. There are my keys. My fountain pen and my pipe tool. There it is, done the old pipe ladder. Off we go. I keep reaching in that pocket, there's still no kitten. I had a dream about a kitten not too long ago. I was uh, sitting on the couch on my day off, how to fall asleep on a couch. Step one, be old to sit down. And it was a lovely afternoon nap and I dreamed about this marvelous kitten. He was just so playful, he was about this size and uh, super playful. We were having the best time together. And when I woke up, just for a moment, I was looking for the little fellow, hoping I might find him. I have plenty enough cats. I'm six. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I miss McClellan. What's in there? What do they say is in here? We'll take a look and find out. Undo my scarf. It's a 
bit warmer now. Ah, uh, exceptional smoothness and light aroma make this mild mixture an ideal morning and indoor smoke as well as pleasant change for matured Virginia smokers. So matured Virginia for sure. I could have told you that from that wonderful vinegar smell. Yum. Mm. And I think what it is is red Virginia and, and uh, toasted. And, uh, and that's what's in it. Well, it's ready fine. The way that all of their other tobaccos were. Never had anything from them I didn't like. They were lovely people too, still are, I suppose. Why wouldn't they be? The habits of a long life are difficult to break, young men. So develop good ones now. Proverbs say, train up a child in the way that he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Well, that's wonderful advice to parents. But it's advice also to the young man. Because if you want to be a particular kind of old man, and I hope that you do, one who is virtuous and not vicious, then you should train yourself in the virtues. You should learn what they are. Well, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll do a series on the seven virtues. That's entirely possible. I've also been thinking of doing at least one episode on the hierarchy of thinking, feeling, and doing. It has being at its center, so we should say being, thinking, feeling, doing. I've been having some uh, arguments, not fights, arguments, with uh, a couple of friends who think that, or feel that, feeling is more central than thinking. And uh, it's not, and I will explain why. I'm not arguing, I'm just telling you why I'm right. All right, here's tobacco you'll probably never get, God bless you. Smoking in a pipe that's not quite as old as I am, but it's close. And those experiences you shall not have. But, when we get to talking about virtues and the order of being in humans and other created natures, why, uh, then you will have those experiences. Those experiences. All right. I'm gone. God bless you. I will talk to you again soon.